What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Sam Norris, owner operator of Progressive Lawn Service. I appreciate you guys tuning in if you're new here. I've, I know since the last video I posted, I've had quite a few new subscribers. Genuinely appreciate you guys tuning in. I like to start every video off by saying that. Today's video, we're just gonna be going over really quick a couple of the awesome benefits that you will get for stabilizing the fuel and all of your equipment for the winter and making sure that you hit the ground running next season by having all of your fuel ready to go, ready to rock. It's treated. It's not gonna go bad over the winter in your fuel tanks. And we'll just go over a couple of the other small benefits that you get from treating your fuel and making sure that your equipment is ready to go. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I do want to start by saying this isn't really a uh, sponsored video or anything, but I am going to be showing you guys how I put this Stabil, if you can see it right there, the Stabil fuel stabilizer in my tank. And I also wanted to mention really quick, if you guys head over to my Instagram, I'm doing a 10,000 follower giveaway. And the giveaway won't actually be announced until I hit 10,000 followers. But Stabil is actually one of the companies who is throwing in a small prize pack for one of the many winners that I've that's going to be selected for when the giveaway actually happens at 10,000 followers. So if that's something you guys are interested in, head over to my Instagram and look for the post. You can't miss it. It's a big picture that I made up of the 10,000 follower giveaway and all the other sponsors of that giveaway as well. So thanks guys. Let's go over today the importance of winterizing all of your equipment, all of your gas powered stuff that is and getting it prepped for next season. Because believe it or not, now is the best time to get everything ready for next season. That way, when the season gets here, you can hit the ground running, your equipment's gonna fire right up. And we're just gonna go over a couple of the benefits of getting all of your stuff winterized, your mower, all of your smaller stuff, your handheld equipment, all of that. So, the one thing I wanna bring up is that I've been running Stabil now for I think about two or three seasons, the Stabil uh, fuel stabilizer, the winter storage one. It treats your fuel for up to 24 months. That's obviously that's two years and you're gonna be using it a lot sooner than that. But it's something that you need to get working into your fuel system. Today, for example, actually I, I put it in my mower and I went ahead and cut my grass. I made sure the tank was full and I went ahead and cut the yard once I put that in there just to get it ran through the lines, get it worked in. Make sure that it's in the engine, it's gonna do its job, it's gonna protect the engine, it's gonna protect the fuel lines, and it's gonna help keep that fuel good for next year. So when you start the machine up, you don't have bad gasoline in your engine, which can be very detrimental to the health of the interior of your engine, the, the rings, your pistons, all that stuff. It's, it's not good for it at all to have bad fuel in it. That can be the number one killer of your equipment is bad fuel, believe it or not. So I got everything laid out here. I've actually had all this running for about 10 or 15 minutes now, but this is what I was talking about. This is the Stabil storage fuel stabilizer. As you can see, keeps fuel fresh for up to 24 months, quick, easy starts after storage. And this big bottle, you can actually treat 80 gallons with it. Now I like this bottle. I'm not sure if you can see it too well, but right there, you've got all your measurements. So you just take this cap off right here and you squeeze the bottle and the stay bill will come up in through here and it'll fill up this little area right here. And it goes all the way up to one ounce. Now, if we flip it over on the back, the directions state to use one ounce or 30 milliliters per two and a half gallons of fuel. Now, 
as I mentioned earlier, I went ahead and put the stay bill in my mower. Now I know for a fact that my mower has a five gallon gas tank, so I just made sure that it was full and I threw two ounces of that stay bill into the machine, into the tank, and we got that running, got the grass cut, and I let the stabilizer do its job, work its way in. And I went ahead and topped off all the fuel tanks here on all this equipment. And I just kind of went off of what each, kind of look up the specs of each machine and see how much fuel it can hold. That way you can get your ratio for how much of the stable you actually need to put into it. Now, as I mentioned, this is my second season running the stay bill. And at the end of last season specifically, I can remember I, I pulled all of this stuff out. I don't really use this edger much anymore. It's a stick edger by Echo. I don't use it too much anymore. But when I do, I, I kind of get it at the beginning of the season, get the edge knocked in real good. And then I just kind of maintain it with the new FS91R that I'm running. But this thing fired right up, I think on the, I think it was the first pull. And that, I mean, to me, that's, that's pretty impressive that it was able to do that versus I, I could guarantee you if I had not put any kind of fuel stabilizer in it, it would not have done that. It probably, I probably would have been sitting there fighting it on the, on the sidewalk for a while. So if you guys are looking to just basically get all your stuff ready and it's the end of the season, you're wondering what should you be doing to your machines to get them prepped and ready for the next season, bare minimum, you need to at least put some kind of fuel stabilizer in them, get them ready to go, get that fuel treated. And I did forget to mention, I also fill up my five gallon sure cans to the top and I put in the stay bill in that as well. So that would be two ounces, just like here in the mower. It'd be the same thing, it's a five gallon tank. So I would put the two ounces of the stay bill in uh, per the directions on the bottle. Now, like I said, that bare minimum, that's what you guys need to do to your machines before you put them away. It, it would be good to also give them a bath, wash them off, make sure that they're clean. Uh, inspect them really quick, go over, make sure that there's nothing damaged, nothing loose, nothing broken. That way, when you guys, because the next season's gonna be here before you know it, it'll be here quick. That way, next season when you jump in, you're ready to go, you know all your stuff's gonna start, you really don't even need to think about it, because I can tell you right now, at the beginning of this season, this thing fired right up after putting the stay bill in it at the end of last season. So, if that's something you guys are looking at doing, I know I've had quite a few people ask me what do I do to my stuff before I put it away for the winter, and that is just one of the things that I do. I, I put the stay bill in it. I'm also gonna go ahead and wash everything off uh, really quick just kind of use like a degreaser to kind of get all the crap that's caked onto it off it'll it's just gonna help them last long it makes me feel better more or less than anything that everything's getting put away clean it's gonna be nice and ready to go for the next season so if you guys like this video I genuinely appreciate you tuning in give it a thumbs up drop me a comment let me know what you think and I know right now a lot of people are kind of making videos on how they winterize their equipment. Everybody's going to be a little bit different, which is really cool to see uh, the way other people do things. That's why I think this is such a great platform. So if you guys like that, like I said, give it that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe, turn the notifications on. I genuinely appreciate you guys. And before I go, I want to give a quick shout out to, I think somebody who might be watching this, Mr. Ryder. How are you, buddy? Appreciate you watching. Take care, y'all. See ya.